Hi guys, it's Wayne again from Wayne Goodman Photography and again just something a little bit different for today. We've got the Samsung NX3000 here, um, which is a camera I've had for a little while and uh, I've mainly used it with the with the kit lens. Now, there's a lens somewhere in here that is 16 to 50, which is basically a 24 to 75 millimeter lens and when I first sort of saw the kit, I thought that would be something of about that size. Um, turns out it's actually that size. It's tiny. Um, a really, really small little lens. That is a 24 to 70 millimeter zoom, 75 millimeter zoom lens. So it's got an even better range, really, than a lot of uh, decent high end lenses. Uh, obviously, we have uh, an, a movable aperture, we have uh, 3.5 to 5.6. Um, it's just a really, really good quality thing. We have two options with this lens as well when it comes to zooming. So you can either use these buttons here or you can change in the menu to use this focus ring. Uh, so the ring can be either used for focusing or it can be used for zooming. And the zoom gives you a little bit more uh, accuracy on the zoom if you, if you need some sort of, you know, you don't just want to sort of it to go you know you can really just sort of increase it just slowly and it's very uh, very useful um, we've got a what is it 43 millimeter filter thread which is actually the same as this lens here which is the the other lens I showed you in the other video uh, which is a 30 millimeter equivalent prime and uh, so therefore if you've got any filters you can just switch them between the two um, that's that lens and this is the camera, which is also tiny. Um, there's no doubt in about it. It's a very small system. Samsung have really gone for the whole uh, everything's got to be small type of affair. And that's it. That's your camera. A 20 megapixel APS-C sensor camera um, with a 24 to 75 millimeter equivalent optically stabilized lens. Um, so pretty impressive if you ask me. Um, the camera has a tiltable screen and it actually goes into like a, a sort of selfie mode. Um, so there we go, you can see <laughs> you can see me, but that's, uh, that's a selfie mode. Um, we have a histogram available, live histogram, all your modes. You've got your mode dial here, so you have mode. Uh, sorry, what am I talking about? Uh, manual uh, mode, shutter priority, aperture priority, and you've got also the P mode, which is basically the automatic mode, as is that. Um, the camera features Wi-Fi, it features NFC, so if you have, I believe, a, a Samsung phone, um, you can literally just uh, just tap it onto the camera and transfer your, your images. Um, good, nice little menu system. Uh, there's not too many buttons to confuse people, which I like. I hate too many buttons. It really annoys me. Um, and some cameras do just have uh, too many buttons. Um, and yeah, how small is it? It's tiny. If we compare it to the stapler, <laughs> which is my amazing uh, size comparison unit, um, we have here where it's basically smaller than the stapler lengthwise, and you know most people know the size of a stapler, so this hopefully gives you some idea. It's basically, you know, stapler sized. It's a very, uh, a very well sized unit. Um, compare it to say uh, the 50 mm uh, FD lens from Canon, which is approximately 20 to 30 years old, manual focus only, so therefore still a small lens. It does have an adapter on here at the bottom, but only a small one. And you can see, you know, it, it's just, hopefully that gives you some idea of how small this kit is. But when I say small, still very nice to hold because you've got a nice, decent grip here. Um, you know, it's good, it, it's good in the hand, it's comfortable. Um, you've got an extra bit here for your thumb to hold on to. Um, you have nice and easy accessible buttons, so you've got your video record there. This does 1080p and all that type of stuff. Um, so a very impressive, uh, you know, a very impressive thing. Battery as well, um, big, basically, a nice big battery. 
Uh, I'm not sure if we've got the power rating of this anywhere. Yep, uh, so it's actually uh, 2330 mAh, which is big uh, compared to a Sony A7R2, that is uh, well over two times uh, the amount um, that you actually get in that camera. So, you know, a really well designed, really fully featured uh, camera system and I would recommend it to anybody. Uh, 20 megapixels, so that's going to give you nice decent sized images. Um, I did actually have, up until recently, a Ricoh GR, which is, it's smaller, don't get me wrong, it is a smaller camera than the GR, but not by much, it's more, it's more the depth that's smaller of that camera rather than anything. Um, but then, it's kind of swings and roundabouts comparing those two because the GR has a 16 megapixel sensor where this has 20, um, so in my opinion that's only a good thing. And the other thing as well is uh, with an f2.8 um, lens, they're very similar then, so this lens here on the, on the camera is, is similar enough that it's you know comparable, but also obviously with the, with the NX3000 you have interchangeable lenses. And with um, with the Ricoh, you can buy an adapter that allows you to go from 28 millimeters, which is its standard focal length in 35 mil terms, um, down to 21 mil, and it ends up being just about as big as when the NX3000 has got this lens on, which basically gives you all that range and more in one zoom lens. So for me, when somebody once asked me for advice on to get a small camera. Um, and they were saying that they fancy the Ricoh GR, I couldn't help but suggest this type of kit to them and at the time I wouldn't have sold it so there was no chance they were going to buy it off me. It was just literally my honest opinion that this is something to really consider because it still shoots raw, um, it shoots everything that you would imagine it to and you've then got that huge uh, zoom range. Different apertures going on but when it comes to wide angle for me as I've said before I don't always require such a, a wide aperture. Um, my 15mm Voigtlander, uh, which I thought I had to hand, yep. Here's the 15mm Voigtlander, uh, which I use on the Sony A7 system. And that, as you can see there, it has a minimum aperture of 4.5. This lens actually has a minimum aperture of 4. And look at the size comparison. So, you know, surprisingly close in terms of size and very very just very good so um you know sometimes we we look at these things and we think oh it's going to be rubbish it's samsung making a camera system but actually they're really really good and uh sometimes really worth the consideration depending on your type of photography so i hope this has given you uh, sort of a bit of insight into that system um i am going to be listing this for sale as i say because i've, I've decided to sell my equipment but it is more because i'm not using it than anything um, honestly, I've held on to this for so long because I just really enjoy actually owning these things um, and having the option to use them, which I will miss at some point because I know at some point I'm going to go in somewhere. I don't want to carry a load of kit and I'm going to be able to take, the, uh, I would would have been able to take that 75 to 300 mil equivalent stabilized lens with me. And instead, I'm going to end up dragging, um, in fact, give me two seconds. Here we go. Now here's a comparison of, <laughs> now obviously not apples for apples, we've got a f2.8 lens and blah de blah, but um, this is a 70-200 from Canon, so that's 70-200, oh gosh, hang on, right, sorry, yep. It's worth waiting because you'll see the difference. Um, so that's a 70 to 200, and that's a 75 to 300, and that's a fair bit of difference, isn't it, in terms of size? I've got them both upside down, so we've got both lens caps on. That's uh, that's quite a, a heft and weight and size and everything to have a difference, isn't it? So uh, I think you'll agree that Samsung have done a pretty good job in terms of size. If you go adding uh, a two times extender. I can't. I don't think I can even fit that on the screen. Yep. <laughs> so um, you know, it's a great system. 
really is. I'm really reluctantly going to have to let rid of, let go of this stuff. Um, but at least if somebody buys it, they'll put it to good use. Whereas at the minute, unfortunately with me, it's just sat around doing nothing. That's no good. So keep watching my videos, keep subscribing, and uh, I look forward to reading your comments as well. Thanks and have a great day.